Oh my gosh. First round stoppage by Ismael Barroso over Ahara Davies. And I was rude for Ahara, man. I thought that he was going to win, but it would be a stinker. And here he goes and gets knocked out brutally. Stopped, actually, in round number one against this old-ass man who got power and who will beat your ass. I'm teaching controversy with 5 360. By the way, this is his first fight with Golden Boy Promotions. Ahara Davies, who is now 25-3. With 18 KOs, 31 years old. Now, Barroso is the interim champion. Will he get his rematch against Roller Romero? We don't know. Roller Romero will likely go on to fight uh, uh, Ryan Garcia. Because Ryan Garcia wants to fight. And Ryan Garcia's manager is very close with Al Heyman. And um, Ryan Garcia has been recently seen training with Floyd Mayweather. And then all of a sudden, or running with Floyd Mayweather. And all of a sudden, he's pivoting away from fighting Devin Haney to now fighting... Uh, uh, or wanting to fight uh, Roley Romero. So this is crazy right here. Like, he really got stopped. There was no controversy. He got the shit hit out of him. Uh, did a little break dance. And I'm sitting here eating. This is my second water ice. I've been uh, cutting weight. So, you know, um, I'm sitting here eating my water, my, my water ice. And I'm like, damn, he got knocked the fuck out again? Uh, he was beat up several years ago by um, uh, uh, Josh Taylor. And he's been on a nice little run since then. But this is his first fight with them. It's not a good look. You know, he's 31 years old. You know, he was supposed to win this fight for many different reasons with all the shit he talked. And now he gets knocked out. Uh, let's go look at the stoppage. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. Ooh. That was the first knockdown. Look, look. Crazy dance moves. You missed it. Obviously, I can't show the whole clip because of uh, the zone and uh, copyright infringement. But he really didn't have a chance at all. Damn, O'Hara. I didn't think he was going to get beat up like that, though. Like, he was demolished. But you know how they say old people still be having their power. That old, old people's strength. He looked like a 40-year-old that smoked a lot of cigarettes. But dude is good. Like, you know. You know, some 40-year-olds kind of, well, I'm 40, you know, and I still have my youthful, boyish looks. But, you know, some people at 40 just be looking rough. Like, it's like, bro, what have you been doing out here? So, with that being said, uh, I wonder if they're going to give him a post-fight interview. So, now, this is, he just went straight to the belt. Look, he, he was out. He was out. He was out on his feet. He was shaking, legs shaking, knees weak. Let's take a jump cut. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. Teach Street Controversy with 5 360 minute 53 seconds round number one referee Celestino Ruiz puts a halt to the bout for your winner by TKO and now the new WBA interim super lightweight champion of the world he's my one and it looks like we're gonna hear from Mr. Barroso and our Beto Duran is standing by. He's my little drinking his water. Turn around right here. So I'll translate for him. Congratulations, felicidades. Que pasó? What happened? Este bueno como venía diciendo en una entrevista que me hicieron que tenían mucha fuerza antes cuando empezamos el boxeo tenían mucha fuerza y ahora que estoy con Dios Dios me da la fuerza y sabía no que ya nos haga nada. I said in an interview earlier that when I started boxing they told me I had a lot of power and I'm showing that power now that God's on my side I have that power. Your trainer said get him in the first round. When did you know that you could have him? Morro te dijo que ve por él el primer round. ¿Cuándo sabías que ya lo tenías? Este, bueno, ya cuando pude golpear el, el primer golpe, yo sabía que él iba a venir de frente, que lo iba a chocar con un buen golpe. After that first punch, I knew that I had him. I knew that it was a good punch. Your last time you were in the ring, you fought Rollies. They stopped it. You were upset. Who do you want to fight right now? La última vez que estabas en el ring, perdiste con Rollies. La parada, estabas enojado. ¿Con quién quieres pelear? Bueno, yo creo que el público quiere esta pelea. Y Mal Barroso y Lore Romero. Lore Romero, aquí estoy de vuelta. Roley is ringside, by the way. Roley and Barroso again. Romero, I'm right here. 
felicidades, congratulations. Muchas gracias. Quiero mandar un saludo ya, primeramente a mi esposa, un saludo allá en el Tigrito del Mirador, Venezuela. Esto va a Venezuela. Corey, you're asking about El Tigre, Venezuela. You know that they're partying tonight. A big night for El Tigre here tonight. The pride of El Tigre. Is well, this card is moving along pretty fast. Uh, remember, his uh, last fight was against Roly Romero in March of uh, April, excuse me, May of last year, and he was winning on all the scorecards, and it was a controversial stoppage. Some say, uh, thank you, Al Heyman. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying some saying, thank you, Al Heyman. So now, phew, the 140-pound division is, is, is a special place. Uh, so now, Barroso is still back in the mix. You know, you think, you, I, I, I wonder if the, the WBA going to bullshit. They need to order that fight. You know, because knowing them, they want to keep that interim belt around and get another sanctioning fee. But Ryan Garcia is saying he wants Roley Romero. But the right thing to do is to have Roley Romero fight Ismael Barroso in the rematch. And the winner of that gets Ryan Garcia. But then Ryan Garcia, he should be fighting Devin Haney like he said he wanted to. And according to Oscar De La Hoya, on this broadcast, they're trying to make the fight happen. So whatever happened between Ryan Garcia and Mayweather and Ryan Garcia's manager out in Vegas when they were training whatever this last week, this, this last week. All of a sudden, now he want to fight a uh, Mayweather Promotions or Mayweather Stable or Al Heyman fighter in uh, Ruli Romero. Yeah, right. Something fishy is going on over there. Um, and we know that uh, Ron Garcia wants away from Golden Boy Promotions anyway. So take your time out, like the video, subscribe on T Street Controversy with Fight View 360.